our main aim as environmental health officers is to prevent disease occurrence. And that is our main goal. And as government is looking at prevention, because prevention is better than cure. And it is more cheaper to prevent than to do what? To treat. So today we are passing on information to the community of Ginger and Uganda as a whole. And let us try to prevent most of the occurrence of these diseases in our homes, in our working environment. Use those positions to support environmental health. Don't sit in any actual position and become comfortable. For us, in my place, we have a saying, we ask for the good, so it's going to be done. When you hear vibrations on your veranda and you are sleeping, know that vibration may be after you. So, the NHOs are comfortable. They are in U2 Medical 2. They are comfortable. They are not helping their colleagues down. So you must agree that whether you like it or not, we must face our way. And leadership, leadership must not come in place. So we need to start preparing now. We don't want to go for the AGM and say, no, we still need you. No, we are dead. <laughs> of course, ever since we took over leadership, it has been a struggle. One time we woke up, and uh, the highest person we used to have at the district was called the GHI. They said they had scrapped with that position. And uh, we had a nobody at the district. So we had to fight strongly to create a position of ADH or environmental health. And the uh, principal health inspector. And we helped the nurses. When we were taking the issues up, they were fighting amongst themselves. The diploma holders were saying they should be the ADA course. The degree holders were saying they should be the ADA course. They disagreed and left their document. Said if we go alone, we may fail. Let's carry for them. We fail for them. They also have what? ADA course for Madan. As far as this award is presented to Paul Weimar in recognition for his contribution to the development of environmental health in Uganda on this day, the World Environmental Day 2020. in recognition for her contribution to the development of environmental health in Uganda on this World Environmental Day 2022. Thank you very much, Ambassador. Thank you so much. This uh, award, I want to say something about Mr. Katwe. This gentleman you see here is a very brilliant gentleman. He's very principled, he's very eloquent, and he's very committed to service to humanity. And the time he served as a council member for three years, he chaired one of the most difficult committees, that is the Israeli committee. But he did it very well in that capacity. The Minister of Health. This award of appreciation presented to Mr. Semuan Akatwere Levy in recognition of your distinguished service as a member of the 7th Allied Health Professionals Council between 2018 and 2021. But if I hand it over to you, you get surprised and you get shocked. This is a surprise. I was on the organizing committee and organizing uh, awards for other people and did I know that there was another organizing committee somewhere <laughs> organizing an award for me? It is indeed a surprise, and I'm, 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 I'm actually beaten. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much, Allied Health Professionals Council, for the recognition. Where is it? Take this for you. What is it? Here we go. We got some markers. <laughs> it is the president signing. <laughs> then the treasurer comes. I love that one. <laughs> uh, those who made presentations, please come. And then the training wing. Yeah, they should be presented. The training wing. Yeah. The training institutions. 
Okay.